Hey Aquarius, thank you so much for coming to your maid love reading. This love reading is for sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Those of you that are cross-watching, welcome. It can be your situation or your partner's. It kind of just depends, to be honest. Um, also too, there will be an extended at the end of the reading that goes over how does your partner feel about you romantically? Um, what is their perception of the relationship? How do they want to move forward? Obstacles, actions, advice, and then the outcome. Um, with that being said, let's just hop into your reading. Move the damn candle lid out the way. All right. What's the overall energy for love and romance for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus for May 2020? Okay, we have Temperance. Some of you guys may be dealing with a Sag. Um, what's what's um, Aquarius' partner's energy or person of interest romantically? What's their energy right now? Okay, judgment. Some of you also may be dealing with a Capricorn or a Scorpio. How does um, Aquarius feel about this person? How, how does Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus feel about their person of interest? The Hermit. There's Virgo. And what's... What is the current situation between these two? What is the current situation between Aquarius... And their person of interest romantically. Aquarius and their person of interest romantically. Okay, four of cups. There's Cancer Moon. Let's push these over. And let's ask the best potential outcome for you two romantically. Welcome for Aquarius. Some more personal massively best potential outcome. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so you guys have soulmates. So first things first, I I get the sense, I mean obviously with the cards here, that there is some type of um fuckery going on for sure right? I mean, the fact that we have temperance with judgment, how you feel about them is the hermit and the current situation is the four cups. I feel like this, to be honest, I feel like when it comes to love, I feel like whoever you guys were currently dealing with, I feel like they probably haven't shown their true feelings or they haven't necessarily expressed it or they're hiding it. And I feel like there's something here that there's definitely a level of healing from for some reason also too i don't know why i get the feeling that there was something that um like somebody did something very underhanded here i also feel like too like there was something very non-committal like somebody just didn't want to commit and somebody definitely didn't want to follow the rules they kind of just wanted to do what they wanted to do i guess and it's important because there's something where this person shifts. Like, like that's the word that's coming, like shift. You can say, um, like shift and mask. Like, like whatever they're showing you right now, it's, it's not true. And it's interesting because there's something here about somebody trying to constantly please and then somebody constantly, you know, insinuating like this relationship is going to go somewhere and it's not. I don't know why, but that's definitely what I'm getting strongly. Yeah. It's, it, it's just very interesting to me, I feel like. Because I don't know which one of you it is, but I definitely feel like somebody um, has been hiding their true feelings even gaslighting, maybe like somebody's been saying like, yeah, this is a situation that I definitely can see um, will work. But then, you know, or yeah, I just need some more time. Let's be friends. Like there's something here where there is a level of gaslighting going on. I feel like it's on your partner's end, like where maybe they're saying, yeah, this is going to work, but then they have no intention of having it work. And that's why you Aquarius is, ha is in this healing type of energy. Because overall energy is temperance, right? Temperance is a form of healing, but it's also trying to be very patient right now and, and attempting to be grounded. 
The shitty thing is that it's paired with the devil. So there's Capricorn energy. Um, not that Capricorn shitty. I'm just saying like temperance with the devil. Like there is some type of addiction here. There, there, first of all, somebody may have an addiction, whether it's drinking, alcohol, drugs, an addictive way of thinking, um, whether that's a negative space or however you want to slice it, dice it and rub it down. But there's definitely something here for this month that's a little bit off balance. What's the energy of this devil card? Like there's a lot of illusions, I feel like, um, Aquarius, when it comes to your situation with this person. Okay, the energy of the devil is Mercury in Aquarius. So uh, that's the Six of Swords. The thing about the Six of Swords is this. It has a very quiet way of kind of stir like stirring things up. And there's also something very like contradictory about it. And I feel like with the devil, it's almost like the need to force ideas upon um, somebody. But then also, like I said, having a level of illusion there where it, it, it makes things very convoluted. It's very foggy. Like, I guess that's the best way I can describe your situation or even the energy. It's very clouded or very like, like a thick fog. Like, that's what they're showing me. One card here for Aquarius and the overall energy romantically for the month focusing on yourself self work time to heal shadow work and self appreciation I feel like you have temperance here because it is time to heal I feel like it's time to heal um because I do sense that there's something um very hurt here there's a level of sadness because of some type of separation possibly feeling lost or even trying to like mourn Whatever happened between you and this person, because I am getting the vibe, to be honest, that you're not together right now. And I feel like that has to do with a level of outdated thinking, whether your end or your partner's end, and just somebody constantly saying the same thing and really hammering the same thing over and over and over and over home. One more card here, please, for the overall energy for Aquarius romantically. You see what I'm saying? Ten of Swords. I think it's an ending to the lies. I think it's an ending to the games. Like, I'm going to be honest, Aquarius. Like, I don't feel good about this situation um, with you and this person. I really don't. It's, but it's funny because it's like, I feel like words were exchanged and I feel like they cut much deeper than probably um, anticipated. And now it's like somebody is sitting here. The overall energy is that, yeah, there's a lot of hurt here. There is a lot. And I feel like, too, with Mercury and Gemini, there's a lot of mercurial energy here. And it's a lot of swords. So, you know, it's being in your head about something. It's having a tough conversation. It's acknowledging, you know, the fact that this double energy isn't, um, a healthy energy because there's a lot of lies and confusion and, um, you know, like I said, there's a mask that, that somebody is wearing, whether it is your person or it's you. Um, I feel like it's your person though. I'm going to be honest, but that's what I'm getting. Okay. So now we have judgment for their overall energy. Um, what's the energy of judgment for this person? Queen of Pentacles reverse. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Capricorn. Um, you know, here's the thing. I feel like somebody definitely lied. I feel like there's some somebody lied about something. And I'm saying this because we have the Five of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles. That's Venus and Aquarius. I feel like you and this person, um, Five of Swords for Pink Pineapple Tarot, she um, always tells me like the Five of Swords, that's a very platonic card, right? It's a lack of sex. Um, with the queen of pentacles reverse and this goddamn 10 of pentacles, Mercury in, um, Virgo, there's something here with this five of, five of swords, which I hate. It's, it's something very unconventional that's going on here with this person. They don't like to have rules. First of all, they like to make rules or somebody's making rules, but they don't like them. 
it's also too a need to act superior and also a need to for space when it comes to this ten of pentacles now i feel like this ten of pentacles is possibly another relationship that this person is investing in or um here's the two scenarios a either this person found out that there was a third party situation with you aquarius or this person has a third party situation that they've been hiding this queen of pentacles reverse because watch how does um aquarius feel about the five of swords ten of pentacles nine of wands with the five of wands um I mean, I, I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory to be honest, but I mean, the nine of wands, that's definitely moon and Sag and that's a need for personal space for personal freedom, but it's also too, um, like the nine of wands for moon and Sag, it's about meeting new people. It's about getting out there. It's about traveling. It's about having a level of space and Sometimes the nine of wands is, is, um, they have a belief that everything's going to work out, but they've been through a lot. So for you, it's like, I feel like part of you is, um, trying to give this person a level of space because you probably want to just punch them right in the throat. I'm going to be honest. And I do feel like there's a level of fighting and a level of bickering when it comes to this 10 of pentacles. Some of you definitely may be dealing with a Leo too. Um, you have five of wands at Saturn and Leo. There's a level of ego here. I feel like this 10 of pentacles with that five of swords, I think that that hurt your ego. And now it's like, you're being more cautious and controlled. And there is a level of intensity that is coming here, but also to a lack of confidence, because for some reason, I feel like your partner is happy. I don't, I don't know why, but that's what I'm gathering. What, um, one card here, please, for, um, uh, Aquarius is person of interest or overall energy. Yeah. See, I'm telling you, I, I know I'm not crazy. Kings on a ring, many options, decisions, unconventional. Remember I kept saying unconventional, strung along one night stand. There's a level of competition here and there's definitely another party. And I feel like. Aquarius, you have always had to look over your shoulder when it comes to this person because maybe they've always had somebody else on the side and now you're finally seeing it for what it is. There's something here about a level of healing that's um, going on with you guys right now pertaining to this situation. How you feel about it is the hermit, um, you know, with the four of pentacles. I feel like this, and that's Capricorn energy. I feel like this. I, I, I feel like you know that this is a chapter that needs to be closed, right? However, we're still holding on to it. You're still holding on to the hope that something may work out. But it's also like there's something here where you're in your head and you're like racking your brain over what's gone on. It's like something here like you can't let go of. It's a very scattered or unfocused energy. It's also very angry. Like there's a lot of anger here, I feel like. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. One more card here for how do they, how does Aquarius feel about their person of interest romantically? Aquarius, the Hierophant. Okay, hold on. What's the energy of this Hierophant? There's Taurus. What's the energy of this Hierophant? <laughs> The Ten of Swords with the Two of Swords. Here, here's the thing. If, listen, I'm going to be very honest with you because, um, to be honest, I would want somebody to, to, to do that with me. Um, here's the problem. So with the Hierophant here, this is something that's taking a lot of time to come to a decision um, on your end. And I feel like because it's taken a level of time, too much time has passed when you should have cut it or something here should have been cut. 
whether it's a person, a party, a third party, whatever. And at the end of the day, what's happened is because somebody was extremely cautious with how they are proceeding, it's now created a lack, a lack thereof. And that can be a lack of communication. It can be a lack of love. As you can see here, we don't have any cups. The only wands we have are wands that are um, typically negative cards, right? But I feel like there is a conversation here that needs to be had. And I feel like too, there's also some weird argument about money, I feel like, or money is an issue that's also coming in. But it's like waiting for something to come, but it's not. But also feeling like you're not enough, feeling like there's not enough to give. And then with the two of swords here and the ten of swords, again, you have the ten of swords twice. So I feel like you're really in your head about this partnership. I think that this is somebody that you've grown close to. And that, you know, even though they're, you know, maybe you don't talk to them as frequently, they're still there. There's still something that you can kind of fall back on. But I also feel like, too, all this time that's surpassed, it's, it, it's, what's happened here is, um, how do I explain this without sounding like an asshole? Um, hmm. I just have to be honest with you guys. I feel like you knew what was going on and you took to, you didn't say anything. You said nothing. So because you sat in silence, it's like you're over here in the 10 of swords. It's almost like you guys put yourself in that position because let's be honest. I always say out of all the signs, one of the signs that's like the best, like snooper trooper is Aquarius. Like I'm telling you, my mom's an Aquarius. She can find out anything like within seconds. Like, I don't know how the hell she does it, but she can find out anything. And I feel like for you guys, you already knew. You know what I'm saying? There is a higher level oversight here where you already knew what was going on. However, you took a period of time to wait. You didn't react immediately to it. You kind of held on to the information. And now what's happened is it's in your head and it's fucking with you. And it's causing this ten of swords, which is shitty. So your overall um, situation with this person, it's the four of cups. <clears throat> and again, I feel like you knew about this other person. I feel like you knew this person had another person. Cross watchers, if this is your situation, but it's, um, it's flipped, flip it. Okay. It just kind of depends on who's watching. Um, I do want to say this though. I, I feel like somebody's over it. I feel like there's not enough going around. I feel like what's being offered this single cup. It's like if you have three cups and you accept another cup, you know what I'm saying? Like what else are they bringing? It's just not enough. Somebody's very frustrated. I feel like with what's being given emotionally here, that there's not enough emotional fulfillment in this relationship to continue for it to proceed. I know you guys are Aquarius and Aquariuses tend to be non-emotional, but at the end of the day, there is something here where you guys still do require a level of love. One card here, please, for the Four of Cups. The Lovers Reversed. Gemini's here. Um, you know, I think you're just upset over the situation not working out. That's, that's what, you know, that's what I think personally. Look, Ten of Cups Reversed. I feel like there was this um, thought in your head of how something would be because of what somebody said. I feel like there was a lot of things that were said to you and I feel like none of that has come out. None of that has come for, to fruition because I feel like somebody lied about their money. I feel like somebody lied about what they were doing, lied about where they were investing their time. I feel like um, there's a big ego here that has to be filled on, on your partner's end and... I just feel like, again, death with the fool. So uh, Scorpio, you have Pisces and also Aquarius. I just feel like this is an ending to a relationship. I feel like you guys have to acknowledge that though. And it's crazy because I feel like, I definitely feel like this person is a soulmate. I, I, I do think that because especially since we have this as an outcome, However, not all soulmates are here for 
good, I guess. Like soulmates come in to teach us a lesson and then they leave. That's usually like the energy of it. But I am curious to see like how your partner feels about you. Um, what is their perception of the relationship? How do they want to move forward with you? What are the obstacles that need to be overcome? Um, their next actions, advice, and then the outcome card. So um, if you want please feel free to click on the link in the comment section below. It will take you straight to um, Vimeo where you can purchase your extended. And with that being said, I love you guys and I hope you have an amazing May. I know right now it looks shitty, but honestly, now's the time for healing because something new is coming in. So you have to let it go in order for something new to blossom. All right, Aquarius, I love you and I'll talk to you later. Peace.